that. I think my internet had an aneurysm. And spazzed out. Okay, and, but now I have popcorn, so if you hear any crunching, that's me. Okay, let's see. Let's get this stream on a roll. Why is it like that? Why is my... Let's... There we go. Let's update that. There we go. I can remember where I last put where I last put where I last read. I think I do. Okay, okay, yeah. It was right here, it was right here. You know. The blackout. When the fuse tripped, Knight rushed into the room, making the switches useless. I had spent enough time in the dark to know it wouldn't come alone. My time was short. As if possessed by William Vesper's sheet music, I played the tune that had brought Selena back to life. Her perfume, the touch of her hand on my shoulder, I was smiling. Whenever she go, follow her. Selena's light was the antimatter to darkness, a bright negative to Margaret. Under her radiance, I survived the attack of the ghosts. I owed her my life. I was now determined to walk with her until dawn. The plan of the attic brought me some relief. In the dark, the slightest hope would be more than a welcome. The thick electrical cable was lying on the floor like a dead steel serpent disappearing into the dark. To the other end of it, I was hoping to find a remedy to my predicament. In the attic, none of the switches were working. Night reigned supreme there. I had to drive it away, but where would I find light? The esoteric symbols scattered around the house weren't just there for decorative purpose. I feared to understand their meaning knowing I had no other choice. I knew I would never forget the atrocities depicted by the projector. Humans were capable of as many horrors as the ghosts, and the night was getting darker and darker. A large painting was covered, was covering an opening to the neighboring room. The monster depicted was surely terrifying, but I had seen words during that night. The pictures of that victim's agony were recorded in the room I had yet to visit. It looked like a cellar. I remembered that door from the ground floor. Cellar was written on the key. My stomach was urging me not to go. Down there, in the shadows even thicker, things could be worse. Things could only be worse. Selena's escape. Selena was facing me. Her thousand stars stinging my eyes, unaccustomed to the light. Her hand was warm and weightless. Then her fear came, something behind me, and I lost her again. That's it. Let's look at the photo album. We have Vesper Venter Cross. So Margaret Venter, did she mar married? William Vesper, and then became Margaret Vesper. Okay, New Vesper, William. 
Wait, she married Henry Vesper, right? And then William Vesper was the son. Okay. Claire de Lune. W. And then Henry Vesper dies. Vesper's dead. Then Margaret Vesper dies. Okay. Let's look at some newspaper articles. Come Darkness, October 29th, 1938. The time came when we stopped we stopped counting how many companies closed in the attic. Closed in the past why did I say the attic? We stopped counting how many companies in the past nine years. Many unemployed and families ended up in the streets, forced to live in the slums around our cities. Counting all the companies wasted because nobody could buy them. Thrown to the sea or burnt. We stopped counting how many of our business partners fell with us. It was now on October 20, 1929, burn, born from the sick and speculative belly of America. The crash will throw the world into the storm and darkness. We are still here. And we stopped counting because these were just figures. Because today, they make us feel nauseous. Dawn seemed fine. And today, something... They can see the sunrise. They seem to the night and darkness are always out there somewhere. Is this during this the uh, Great Depression? Hey Siri. When was the Great Depression? It happened from October twenty fourth, nineteen twenty nine to nineteen forty one. Oh, so this is during the Great Depression, October twenty fourth, nineteen twenty nine to nineteen forty one. Great. So, uh, everybody's doomed. Reasons for the crisis, October 18th, 1932. The current crisis is a sickness born from capitalism, from speculation, like a blind madness forged in three sins. Greed, the wealth of the Great War, was jealous, was jealous and kept since 18. And the safes of those who were wealthy and didn't benefit the economy or the people. Experience. A weak balance was shattered to pieces by the restrictive policies of the Federal Reserve, still too young and unwilling to take actions. By refusing to supply money to the banks in order to encourage the Fed actually the origin of the credit pushed people to withdraw their money from the banks and in the end brought the whole system to ease. The bleeding would cause the system to the crash to happen. It was supposed to happen. It could have been avoided. Someone had enough courage to face the new men who were ransacking America. The people asked Mr. Hoover where he was when water started flooding his ship. Was it Edgar Hoover? Hey Siri, when was Edgar Hoover president? No, what he? wait a minute, wait a minute. Hoover. Hoover president. Herbert Hoover? Hoover. I'm born to out. Think of Edgar Hoover. It's Herbert Hoover. Presidential term March 4th, 1929 to March 4th, 1933. Who? Hoover. Edgar Hoover. Edgar I might think of Edgar Hoover. Edgar J. Edgar Hoover, former director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Never mind. He died in 19... 
So Edgar Hoover. It's Herbert Hoover. Let me just take a couple crunches of my popcorn. Okay, Boston Brahmins, June 6, 1938. In these troubled times, one would dream of the glorious past of our city, about the founding fathers who built and strengthened its walls. They would be the Boston Brahmins. Ooh, this is a lot. Ooh. Big wigs, businessmen, lawyers, and soldiers, whose sense of morality the lines of the city, soul, and what a soul. Without them, Boston would be one of those many little towns. Thanks to them, and less than a century, it became the major economic, financial center we all know. While we can see the century to come. The newly graduated from Harvard, symbol of the city's pursuit of the spirit of the pioneer, whose clear speech inherited New England, sings in T.S. Eliot's poem, and in the voice of Catherine Hepburn. Eight years ago, Malcolm Nicholas resigned from office. He was the last of the promise, the last Republican to the mayor's office. But it is still here. This noble blood which built roads, churches, courthouses, and hospitals, an economic cri crisis, no matter how dire it is, will never wash away their dignity. You can't take away their dignity. He is the guy who made the Star Trek, right? Hey, Star Spangled Banner. Well, that's Francis Scott Key. Never mind. T.S. Eliot. I know that name. T.S. Eliot. Uh, Boston Brahmin essayist. Nobel Prize in Literature. A.B. in Philosophy at Harvard Ph.D. In philosophy at Harvard. Hmm. No, I have to lose some of T.S. Eliot. Meet cats? What? No. Cats is a sung through musical composed by Andrew Lloyd Webber based on the 99 poetry book Op. Book of Practical Cats by T. Eliot. Huh. You learned something new. Okay, Victims of the Crisis, October 19th, 1934. The body of a 40 years old man was found yesterday morning in the Burns industrial area. According to the death, the result of severe malnutrition coupled with massive alcohol in ingestion. He is the fourth person to be found dead as a result of starvation this week in the neighborhood. Many factors have closed and the unemployment rate reaches 60%. The authorities seem unable to face the malnutrition and alcoholism issues. A community itself take over from social institutions to face the crisis. The government doesn't seem to have the power to save its own citizens, and maybe it doesn't want to. Appearances, September 20th, 1934. For over a year, Boston had witnessed a number of troubling disappearances. There are now 13 cases of missing women unsolved, who searches by the community. Women are from the lower socioeconomic of society and aged 20 to 50. Eight of them are notorious prostitutes from the districts of Jamesport, Livingston, Black Lake, Crescent, and Tardy. Where most women were uh, 
yeah, where most of the women were abducted. Uh, the rate of these disappearances escalated in a couple months. In the last couple of months, with almost one abduction a week, human trafficking, the police are definitely following a criminal lead and they encourage women to be very careful. Yet a growing rumor is accusing the law enforcement a tread too lightly, that it is, according to them, the work of one or multiple urban predators. Victims! Okay, we haven't found too many victims now. Victim number one. Beth Rogers. Okay. Dear Mom, please do not worry. Robert's salary was cut by 50%, but he should be able to keep his job. That's how it goes with the crisis, even if it means we have to live with 20 to, 20 to 25 bucks a week. I try to barter, and I do a few things here and there in exchange for food. To avoid wasting gas, I cook several meals at a time. I collect used clothes and shift them back into shape. Of course, I only buy bre bread when it's one day old. At least, when the bread is hard, the boys don't gobble it up in no time. But we are lucky. Neither of them got sick. Winter is coming, though. Last week, we went to the cinema with Paul, and we saw the Blue Angel with Marlene D Dietrich. What a woman! Here are five dollars. That's the best we do right now. But we'll soon be with you. Take care of yourself. Beth Rogers. Number three. Dear Irina, we have decided to accept your proposal to come to take a picture of our family. We know nothing about art, but I believe showing what is happening today in the heart of America is the right thing to do. We'll be, you will see our flat is awfully tiny and dark. We miss our house, and the children often ask when we'll go back home. They still can't believe a bank would steal their house. Yesterday they told me, what do they need it for? Do they have a house on their own already? When you have no answer to counter a child's logic, it means things have gone really bad. In any case, they know you are coming and are very excited about it. We'll be waiting for you. You know our address in Black Lake. See you soon, Marilyn Campbell. Number seven. Tonight, my little Kathy, you go back. You go to Black Lake. And you will swallow all these pills. If you have any second thoughts, read this note once again. You already tried several times, but you were too weak. I was holding you back. Leonard is gone. He must have found a new job, a new woman. He's happy without you. You have been judged, laughed at, condemned. You have no one. You are so lonely. Even your last words are for yourself. Your future is only darkness and ashes. Look straight into the night. Open your eyes. This is your future. You have to let go. Do it for yourself. From Joan Bennett. Joan Bennett. <laughs> Joan Bennett. Lisa Bennett. Joan Bennett. Who gave us a wonderful jingle. Okay, so I remember these being long, so I'm not going to read all of these. Right. Yeah, no. Just know that Margaret Vector got married to Henry Vesper and became Margaret Vesper. They had a son, William Vesper, and I believe William and Selena fell in love. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? We got the story down. We got the story down gonna most likely have to look up a, a guide mm. that popcorn tastes good The owner was very passionate about his books. And guess who just spilled popcorn all over herself? I did. Woo!
Selena fled men, just like William, the so-called Black Lake Wolf, had fled his mother. The real wolf was in the blood. It was the night of the world. Its fangs sunken deep. Okay. I could go ahead and May 18, 1932. In the flesh of America had poisoned us all long ago. Where is it at? Could I have done that to her? One of these things? Souvenir is something to you. Always store back. Cotton dust. It was like a second one. I need to know what do I have in my inventory? Well, that was stupid. I just wasted. More my matches. So my hat seen a lot that came. Go back down the steps or do I just chill in here? Just gonna take a nap. R is connected to an electrical panel. I remember this room.
I went to that one too. Okay, let's get out of here. Maybe I need to go back and step. Okay, well, she went over here, so I bet we have to go back. Let's just go down. Well, I only have one light left. because I don't have any more lights but I'll use them now and now I'm stuck Yeah, I might have to restart. Woo! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'll be right back. I need some water.
Okay. Get me some more water. I've got to. I'm on my wall. I'll be back to two. I got my water, water. Hope you got yours too. I got my water. I got my water, water. Hope you got yours too. So I triggered something obviously because the phone was ringing, right? gonna book it you know I'm gonna stop and like the match sucks to memorize the pattern because they are all over. Okay, what I'm gonna okay. When I get down there gonna stop and let it burn out by itself and then I'm gonna relay one. Because I did not see where she was. So the phone is right here. I bet it's the phone from downstairs. I'm gonna stay over here to the left. Well, They we're gonna stay close to this corner. <laughs> so okay, 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 okay. Cause she's best. Okay. We would do this, we can do this together.
Guess I had to keep them running. She was too laughing at me. I'm sorry. We'll get. We'll do. We'll do this together. We got this. We got this. These camera angles are on some Resident Evil type stuff. Silent Hill camera angles. So I don't know why. I don't know why. So I like what I did right there. I like having to put it out. I had to stop. I had to put out my light. I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna do this over and over and over again, y'all. Go ahead and put this out. Add another one.
what? I need some matches. I do not have any matches. Without light, you can't do anything. Got a choice. Oh, here's a pack. Here's a pack. Let's go ahead and save right here. It up. We're done saved. Let's do what we have to do. something to do with over here. What's up over here? Do I see what I have? What do I have the key to? Saved. Aha. Now let's go over there and see what's cracking the bag.
All of these doors are locked. What am I supposed to do? All of these locked. And I have a key. Okay, I'm confused. What chapter am I on? Okay, it's time to look up a playthrough. so hard. Oh yeah, I did all that. I'm on chapter five. I don't recognize this. Wait a minute. Come on. Sorry. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I don't even know what chapter I'm on. So there's a phone ringing. Okay, okay, okay.
th I think I went too far. Okay. Say the phone is next to you in the court. I'm all the way confused now. I'll just stay. So confused, everybody.
So confused. Literally want to say where I came from. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm Thank you. 
Okay. I think I do need to go back. Here it is, here it is, here it is. There we go, we got it. There are lights to go. I could smell from here the scent of murder and madness which emanated Woo, from below. we did it. Selena's story was one of light, trying to survive in the night of a nation long corrupted by darkness. I have to admit it. I was afraid of what I would find at the end of that path. End of chapter four. Woo! Chapter five. go we are locked and loaded yeah it is right here? Is that 
Portugal. Supply stairs. Okay. Turbo premonition was Alcoholic though. He has a cellar. Bit. 
17 matches? That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I got you, Selena. Faces scattered in the mansion were haunting me. Each painting had told me of its story. It was like a prompter to an actor whose role is written while he plays it. mansion wanted a witness for its drama to exist. It was using me to write its story. Right in my brain. With an ink of... That's Lena? ...of blood and darkness. Yeah, there's a light in this room, so... Yeah, I will be right back.
I'm back. I'm back with turkey. was lost. My mind didn't belong to me anymore. My memory had been stolen, trapped in the tumult of the accident, which somehow had become the day I was born. This night of ghosts and death, this night, which was the night of the world, this night had made me the witness of an unending tragedy. It had made me one of the characters in its plot. And I wasn't there by chance. No. Places like this one pick their stories and their characters. They crush them. They drive them mad. And they keep their madness in their walls. This is what fuels them, and keeps them alive. What was that?
I tried going back in my memories. Remembering a woman, a kid, a job. I had no story, no canvas to remind me of those. In this labyrinth, I felt lonelier than ever. In this world, there will always be a green room for people like you, Selena. A dark room in which their light can grow. If they don't die first. This light, which emanated from you, it had probably always been there. It was your voice which attracted people who came to see you sing. It was you.
scent of blood in the air. It was hers. Anger was growing in me, thinking about William stabbing her with a blade. But it wasn't over yet. Oh no. I was going to save her. It didn't matter where the wolf would hide. I would skin it. Boy, if you don't sit down, I ain't got to do nothing.
Yeah, I'm totally confused now. sense of blood in the air. It was hers. Anger was growing in me. Thinking about William stabbing her with a blade. But it wasn't over yet. Oh no. I was going to save her. 
It didn't matter where the wolf would hide. I would skin it.
one is the triangle over there. Okay, I've gone to the walkthrough, pay through for this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I was on the right track.
track. scent started filling the air again. There we go. Sea spray, moist soil, plants. Soon after, I could hear rain and thunder. She had guided me on the way out. She had saved my life. But as all prisoners know so well, you're not free just because you can see the sky. This was just another setting for the same tragedy. End of chapter five. Chapter six. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. William Vessel. Son of a gun. Six done. We're not doing this today, gang. She was inviting me to follow her. Come, come see, she was telling me. It was her best part. A victim who plays her role to cheat death. She wasn't deceiving anyone. And me, even less. As a conscientious diva, Selena walked to her grand finale. My fear was washed away by disgust. I was about to meet William. Um, I had killed the only beautiful thing in the world. The only one which could save me. I'm sorry. It was me all along, Selena. The son of a bitch. The sicko. The killer. The wolf. The filth. The bastard. The scum. Oh, you should have let your mother kill you. You should have undone what she did. You knew, and yet you let me have a second chance, Selena. 
Let me go on till the end. The memories of what I had done were coming back slowly. Like the tide washing ashore the rotten corpses from a wreck. Selena was lighter than a pillow. All those years stored in my memory. Images. The blade I sunk deep into the stomach of my own mother. Those dark-haired women. Those hated clones of Margaret, split from head to toe as a sacrifice to the moon. Their organs displayed carefully, like some child fresco. Selena on the stage of smoke and mirrors. The glass I used to toast with her. The first time we talked. Her tears. The letters in which she told me about losing her kid. How her husband had been murdered. And our kiss. The blade I used to stab her. My father. And the father of my mother died from the same madness. The same poison that men injected into the economic system they had created. On October 29th. 1929. Millions of casualties. The scent of blood. And for the wolves, the beginning of the hunt. Selena's warmth was pulsing slowly in my arms as the dark spot of my culpability was growing over her stomach. In the sky, the moon was watching me, her son, as I was taking steps, holding her daughter in my arms, a resurrection, a second chance. Selena was dying. I could tell from her body, tightly pressed against me. At times, her eyes would open and stare at me. Not a hint of anger or accusation. She could have let go. Let her light pass. Let my mother take me back. But she was protecting me. She was forgiving me. The moon was silently watching us as we made our last push through the night. Soon, dawn would come. The sun would wash away all that ink which had condemned us. Goodbye, Luna. Goodbye, Mother. This night had been too long already. I went as far as I could. Selena, the one who had given me everything life had left her, was fading away. Despite my efforts to hold on to her light, If night was the world, then this world had no end. This was my America. Stranded here. Facing the void. Oh, is this a metaphor the for like the silent moon? Like that. She was dying. America. She was dying for all eternity. And I kept awake to see her take her leave. And about like money. Thank you, Ronan. Thank you, Matthew. Mr. Albani. Y'all, Austin, Sebastian. 
Ronin again. Axel. Thank you, Axel. Ronin, okay, you did a lot, Ronin. I see ya. Axel, okay, this is small to you, Axel, Ronin. Marie, we got a, we got a, Irene, okay, Marie and Irene. And Lisa, and Cedric. Okay, then Irene and Liz. This is a French, these sound, these sound French. These look French. Damien, Damien, Robert, I see you, Damien. Hey, Jean Luc. Hey, Frederica, I see Frederica Florence. Zachary, the main composer of Zachary, I see with Zachary and Elsa, Elsa with the snow, I see with the snow and Anna with the snow, Elsa. Okay, Jean Chris, Christophe, Zipper. Okay, Philip, I see Philip with the narrator, Philip and Jean Christophe with the narrator, with the, with the, with the voice. Okay, then Morgan Freeman. Okay, then Rob King. Okay, Albani, I see you, Albani. Okay, then special thanks to Booster and all the team Sebastian, Frederic, Mark, Gulam, Gulam again. Pierre, Frederick, Didier, Lionel, Sophie, Alexandra, Nasio, Christophe, James, Bruno, Olivier, Juliette, and Othili. 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 Those were the girlfriends? Ah, that's funny. Irene, Helen, and Pauline. Hopefully they're your wives now. Hopefully. I see you Jenny with the production coordinator. I see you Jenny girl power, girl power Jenny. Kevin Paré, Kevin Paré, Alexander, another Kristoff, about three Jean somethings, Jean Francois. Okay, we got another Gourlon. Okay, then Cliff Hooper. Cliff. I see you then Cliff. With the nickname. Don't call me James Hooper, I'm Cliff. My 
Mac Chan. Teddy Huang. Okay, special thanks. Rain, rain, rain. Okay, I'm just gonna sit through this. Make sure everybody get their names. Customer care. Come on now. Okay, then Samantha Wood. I see you. See you represent Girl Power. Girl Power. See you represent. Okay, I see you, serv serviceability analysts. I see you, Jack and Lewis, or Louis. Fortnite analyst, I see you, I see you, Root. Tim Hong. No, this brother ain't no, no T'Challa Jackson. Web content producer T'Challa. Oh my lord. Social media specialist gotta get everybody on the team. Social media specialist. Okay, IT, information technology, IT. Jeff Ward, IT manager. Okay, then sales. Okay, Jim Hart, I see you for the second time again, Jim Hart. Patty and Julia and Sean. Ooh, there's a lot of people. Operations and supply chain. Oh, I, c I could have made it go faster. That's what we're going to do. Okay, Steve Williams, Jeremy Barker. Okay, Tanya, I see you, Tanya, Fiona. Special thanks. Okay, okay. Polish and did you, did you put that. And we got T26 Digital found, Foundry. And we got the Fire Lake Technologies. Let me see y'all. We did it! This has been White Night. It has been a two year process. <laughs> but thanks for sticking with it. See ya. Bye.